Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 18th to the 24th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. And I'm going to flip the cards over before... Yeah, as I put them down. So let me know which way you like better. Do you like them being revealed later on or flipped over instantly? So let's see here. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Hmm. <laughs> what did I just say? There we go. Angels and spirit guides. So we have the Queen of Swords reversed, crowning everything. We then have the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, the, the Seven of Pentacles, the Strength card. That's us coming through in the Major Arcana. I love that for you, Leo. Angels and Spirit Guides, show me clearly. We have the Five of Pentacles. The Emperor energy, which is also Aries energy, coming through reversed. The Lovers. The Seven of, of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Eight of Wands. And the Devil. So let me see if everything is in frame. Oh, yay. It is. You can see everything. That's brilliant. Okay. So let's see what Spirit has to say as we dive deeper. And if you are interested in entering to receive a free reading, there are a few things that you have to do. You have to like, you have to comment with a butterfly because then I know you want to be in the running for, for a free reading. Some people don't, so that's absolutely cool. And like, comment, and subscribe. There we go. <laughs> that's the third one. So those are the things. And then you, a person will be chosen at random and announced on Sunday. So keep your eyes peeled and hit the bell notification. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. So here we have preservation reverse. We do not feel like things are being preserved, you know, like things are moving forward. I don't know why I'm seeing preservation. It's not being preserved for us to be able to move forward the way that we want to. It sounds odd, but that is what spirit is saying. So there's something here about preserving things and it's not being preserved. It's not holding up the way that we wanted it to. It's not happening the way that we wanted it to. So just being aware of that is going to be very important. Our chakra energy angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading this is love this is the heart chakra coming through so your heart chakra is wide open just absolutely radiating you know absolutely bringing forward love which is absolutely beautiful let's say absolutely more times and then we have the energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and this is Freyalt. this is sagittarius energy time frame november 22nd to december 21st but this is also like things not being in balance for you things not being true for you like certain things that you thought like oh this was this was right this was this was what i needed it's like no it's not so just being aware of that is going to be super 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 important and also telling the truth to yourself there's something that we're lying to ourselves about it's like oh it's fine it's fine it's fine you know and it's not fine so being aware of that is also going to be very important with the queen of swords reverse 
during this time, we're very, it's going to be very easy for us to believe the negative in ourselves. You know, this could be the Mercury retrograde that's going on because it's a wildly crazy time, right? And it's, and it's going into Leo, which will hit us. Okay. That makes perfect sense. It's going into Leo from the 13th, 14th, you know, to September 9th, it'll be in Leo energy. So it's hitting us very hard and we're going to have things coming forward that need to be said that aren't going, that we're not going to want to say. And that's what happens with Mercury retrograde. You'll see, especially with Mercury retrograde being in Leo, it makes everybody a little bit egotistical. It makes everybody a bit of a drama queen, but it makes everybody a little bit fiercer to roar, like just to roar like a lion. So being aware of that is going to be super important and being able to say to ourselves, you know what? Some people, they're going to be wacky tobacco. I'm just going to leave that alone. Like, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to walk down that road with them. That's going to be a very important thing. Also embracing your voice, you know, knowing that you've worked so hard to stand where you stand, to be who you are and honoring that within yourself, because it's going to be very easy not to during this time. We have a lot of worry and fear and worry and fear just waste our energy. It's like being on a hamster wheel and never getting anywhere. So do be mindful about that, Leo. There is a real sense here of moving towards what you love and what you desire, where it is that you want to be, excuse me, but also there is a release of tyrant energy towards what you love, meaning that you have been with an abusive partner, question mark, like there, for some of you who are listening, okay, you have been with an abusive partner or you had a very domineering father or, or parental figure. And now you're releasing that energy and saying, I don't want that. I'm not, I'm not going for that anymore. And it's not that you cognitively went for that. It is that that trauma felt comfortable. It's like, oh, I know this. Hello, old friend. But it's like wearing, you know, shoes with spikes, you know, in the soles that spike your feet while you walk on them. Just because, you know, you've worn them before doesn't mean you should wear them again. So just being aware of this is going to be super important. We need to connect with our dreams, yet we're worried my dreams will never come true. I'm never going to get there. Look at how old I am now. Okay, listen, here's the thing. You're the oldest you've ever been right now, right? True story. Fine but you're also the youngest you have ever been right now. Wild. So change the way you're looking at things and embrace the joy of being you. Now, I didn't mean for that to make anybody melancholy. So I don't want, to, want you to, to, to walk down that road, but embracing the, the triumph of you is going to be a very important thing because the page of wands is us. We're connecting with our inner child. We're moving forward in passion and in fire and in tenacity. And we're also saying, you know, I had spunk and gumption when I was little. It's like, yeah, I was spunky. I can do this. I can do that. I got this. And now it's time to be patient, but follow those dreams again as I connect with me, as I embrace the power, tenacity, beauty, and brilliance of who I am, of what I want. It's not being completely egocentric, right? But it's knowing that this is my life. This is what I'm living. I'm not living for everybody else. I am living for me. So I'm moving forward in that power, in that you know, tenacity of self. But there's also with the five of pentacles, there's a poverty mentality around us. There's a sense of I can't. I, I can't achieve. I can't succeed. I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm locked out of where I want to be. And acknowledging that and saying, okay, I feel frustrated. I feel overwhelmed. I feel, you know, trapped. I feel whatever it is. The acknowledgement of that and then the saying, but that is no longer my existence. That is going to be very important here. That is going to be very, very powerful here because we need to heal. We're coming out of a tyrannical time. And it can also be that something else had hold over us with the devil right here, right? Could have been an addiction. An addiction doesn't have to be, you know, the main ones that we think of. It can be to people pleasing. It can be, you know, to work. It can be to so many things. Now it's time to move towards what we love. The devil and the lovers, they're the opposite ends of the coin coming through, right? They mirror image each other. Not in this deck so much. Well, I mean, they do have the two people, you know, standing here, one with the angel wings and the lotus flower, right? in between them and the other with a burning butterfly and tower and, you know, big haired lady. So here it is saying, what do I love? Where do I want to be? What's important to me? What is sacred to me? There's also a duality of ourselves. We don't have to be all one way or then all the other. We can embrace the duality, the complexity of us. And as we do so, we are starting to let go of lies, of doubts, of fears, of I can't because, you know, the seven of, of swords is lies is just simply lies. And with that being reversed, we're releasing lies, lies that we thought about ourselves, lies that others had told us, lies that we had thought about others. And we're being really told here to stand in the power of being the hero of our story, to stand in the power of saying, this is what I want for me. I always see the white knight, you know, the, the knight of 
of sorts. There we go. <laughs> of being the white knight in the story, in the storybook, and just, you know, slaying the dragons, rescuing the princess, going off and living happily ever after, and being like, no, I'm in charge of this. I have my sword of valor, right, and my shield of victory, or whatever it is in, in Sleeping Beauty, and I'm going to move forward and be the powerful me that I need to be. And that's what we're seeing here for ourselves. It's like, I am I'm cutting through and slaying the dragons and I'm stepping into my power and I'm sending my energy and I'm awakening the part of myself, usually the sacred feminine energy, though it could be sacred masculine as well, that I have been denying my right to be in. And I'm also releasing the perfection that I thought had to be either all one way or all the other. And as I do so, I'm breaking the chains that hold me. But we're also being told here, Leo, to face the chaos, to see the chaos. Now, the devil energy is also Capricorn energy, time frame December 22nd to January 19th. The lover's energy is Gemini energy, May 21st to June 20th. There's a lot coming forward for us during this time. It's going to move very fast. This week is going to be very fast and we can be worried through most of it, doubting ourselves through most of it, you know, questioning everything, you know, not thinking we're worthy of, of, of anything really, you know, oh my gosh, I need to be... <sighs> to prove that I earned this or I need to suffer because of this. And it's like, no, you don't. You do not need to suffer. You need to say, I'm opening myself up to living in joy and prosperity. I deserve joy and prosperity. Because you know what, Leo? You absolutely do. Our subconscious spirit message is revision reverse. Revision. Rebuilding it. Revising it. You know, looking at it differently. It's like, no, that's the way it has to be. It's like, why? Why is it stamped like that? And it has to be that way forever and ever. It moves us to our chakra energy, which is soul's healing reversed. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. So do be mindful that we are not connecting with the healing energy of the universe. We can think, oh no, you have to like push harder. You haven't earned that yet. But here, that energy is just automatically a part of ourselves. Since we were born, we were connected to that energy. And it's taking that energy in and moving forward with love within it. It moves us to our chakra energy to be, not our chakra energy, that was our chakra energy. It moves us to our energy to be mindful of, and that is the queen of wands. That's us in the minor arcana. We're represented by the queen. No, we're represented by the wands. Yes, we are simply a queen all the time. Good job, us. But the queen of wands is telling us here to be mindful of. It can be mindful of a fireside energy in Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Be mindful of not believing in our magic not believing in our power, looking at ourselves and just being disappointed. Like, wow, we didn't measure up to expectations. And that's not a cool way to look at ourselves. That is not the right way to look at ourselves. Everybody goes through trying times, you know, dark times of the soul, dark nights of the soul. That's what they're called. And they wouldn't have a name for them if they haven't been here since, you know, our great, great, great grandparents have been around. So here, looking at our fire, looking at our passion, looking at what we want, not letting work consume us, not letting anger or frustration consume us is also going to be really important. Also, not letting another person's anger or frustration consume us. We can have a few bad days. That's fine. That's normal. But releasing it is going to be very important. It moves us then to our subconscious tarot energy. And this is the muse of voice, which is the king of swords. Let yourself dance. Let yourself embrace the power of your voice. Let yourself be logical about things. Say like, you know what? Does that make sense for me? Does that not make sense for me? Is this right for me? We can get caught up in the moment and be like, oh, I need this new shiny thing. It's like, do I really? So just being aware of this is going to be super, super important. All right. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.